Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. I'm up early on a Sunday. I'm gonna go out and blow some minds like Morpheus and the Matrix by asking for sour cream on breakfast tacos. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, right before I was heading out, uh, I went, uh, I saw this, uh, you know, traffic, as they say in the Intel community, traffic uh, about this tweet from Mike Mignola, uh, where Hellboy is wearing a t-shirt that says Biden Harris, and he's also wearing uh, a mask. I mainly noticed the shoulders. Those shoulders are just, just gone. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, so I saw some interesting uh, discussions and then I had an interesting discussion with myself and you know what if you're not careful you just might learn something uh, so um, uh, the, the initial reactions were interesting there was a bunch of yas queen stuff and then there were some people who were salty and I saw Ethan Van Skyver saying you know uh, this isn't uh, political this is just this person's opinion and uh I thought it was an interesting topic because I just started, you know, rolling back and forth in my head. Uh, the main thing is that one person I saw just typed the word cringe, and that's kind of my response. It's his character, it's his uh, Twitter account or Instagram or whatever he originally put it on. Uh, but first of all, <laughs> it's really boring. It's really boring. I was going over a, a, a story that's in development. Uh, and the co-writer is very, uh, how should I say it? Easy going. <laughs> I'll change it. Like we'll talk, have a whole, you know, email chain. And then I'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, the whole uh, point doesn't really make sense. Let's change it. And he's just good naturedly like, yeah, okay. It's, it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been getting a little pissed. It's like, bro, get your shit straight. But it, it's one of those things where we're developing it, you know, uh, together. So at one point we were basically talking about, you know, a, a couple of twists and my, and I, I had a twist I was really happy about. I was like, man, this is a good twist. And then he, he basically very nicely, very, very just tactfully pointed out that my twist was that the assholes were also criminals. And I was like, oh yeah. And he's like, what if it was something different than that. And then he told me his, you know, his, I was like, oh, that's good. Yeah, the assholes being criminals, there's no twist. It's not interesting. The artist being a Democrat, yeah, th there's no twist. It's just, it's, it's, there's, it's just boring. Uh, so one problem, you know, so it's almost like I was like tallying it up. It's like on one point, this is your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook, whatever, and your character, do what you want. On the other side, it's boring. It's predictable. I'm not even going to get into the whole shoulders aspect. That's a whole nother aspect. Um, and then I even saw someone, you know, they took the mask off and they had him supporting Trump. And I was like, yeah, not really into that either. Uh, and then, you know, I, I thought of, you know, things, you know, like Eric Larson, who is plot twist, a Democrat. <laughs> you know, every four years, he has the Savage Dragon uh, endorse the Democrat candidate, of course, and I know he's kept like, ooh, yeah, it's like, yes, you're just, you're just boring. It's like, you're boring in a more predictable way every four years. But, you know, I keep coming back to, it's his creation. You know, one of the things that SJWs like to do is they like to purposely misconstrue. It's like, oh, you said no politics, but then sometimes you, no. as a general rule, and basically the politics is, don't always do the same side and don't tell me I'm evil for not having your exact take on every single issue. So then, you know, after going back and forth with it's his character, it's kind of cringy, it's boring as like, can I imagine myself doing it? And I was like, ah, uh, here's Silkworm and he's got, he's got, he's got a t-shirt that says Trump because he, he likes Trump. Yeah. And I'm going to vote for Trump, and I want you to vote for Trump. No. Not in a million freaking years. Ever. Ever, 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 ever would I ever do that. I wouldn't do it sincerely. I wouldn't do it ironically. I wouldn't do it, you know, uh, to piss people off. I wouldn't do it to make people happy. I, I, the only reason I even thought about this was just because I was doing kind of a thought experiment to kind of test out where I felt on a subject. And it's like, can you just imagine Ramadi 
<laughs> strung out on heroin, his eye bags and the ponytail. He's like, vote oh, for Trump. Trump. So then when I thought about, you know, doing it with my own characters, all it just felt like was like, uh, it just, then it was that uh, phrase, it's not illegal, just frowned upon. <laughs> like, it's not illegal, but like, I, I, I like my characters more than that. Like, I, I, I mean, he obviously loves Hellboys, you know, he basically made it the whole focus of his career, but it feels like, it, it feels like it lowers the character. It feels like it diminishes and demeans the character. And as a creator, like, I'll kill my character. <laughs> and sometimes bring him back if he's in the type of universe where that would actually, you know, make sense. I was, I was thinking about this because, you know, Iron Sights is crazy, but if you think about it, especially if you read two of the books, name one thing that couldn't physically happen. I don't even do the thing where it's like, okay, yeah, no individual thing, you know, could is impossible, but someone surviving all of these things is impossible. No, like, even the fights are usually just kind of quick draws, or you shoot someone when they're not looking, or you have a weapon that's way more powerful, and you got, you know, the enemy channelized. Like, there's really, like, a fit person with some moderate weapons training could do, you know, anything any of the characters do in the Iron Sights. But, like, I, I think about it, like, it's just, like, the craziest franchise. It's more of that, um, it's crazy in the the, the way people act. Like, I always think about this in, like, uh, Batman. You, you know what happens when people's uh, parents get murdered when they're children? Uh, they get really, really sad, and then uh, they, they kind of just deal with it. <laughs> like, <laughs> nobody decides to, like, wage a war on crime. When people's, you know, very, very occasionally someone will go get revenge, but nobody does, like, these very arcane, intricate plans as, a, you know... People, usually people just want it to just go away. You're like, oh boy, I hope that... <laughs> this is the action hero plan for most people when something awful uh, happens to them. It's like, boy, I hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's, it's hard to make a graphic novel about, you know, uh, people who are not proactive or a, a little nutty who just kind of deal with things and move on in their lives. It's, it's not... It's a good plan for life, but it's not a good plan for uh, for fiction. So, uh, like I said, I'll kill my characters, but I'm not going to have an endorse a candidate. I mean, it would have to be 100% totally organic to the story. And then maybe, you know, I might do a callback to that. I get, but still, it's still, like, it's not illegal, just frowned upon. Like, I don't... I say just draw the candidate. You know how they always do those, uh, um, like, w whenever someone's drawing their candidate, like, they just make them look... There is no makeover better than the artist who likes the candidate drawing said candidate. Like, they just make them look like the, you know, the, the god or goddess version of themselves. It's freaking hilarious. But, like, it was one of those things where it's, you know, it's kind of like this shrug, but it's like a shrug with, like, a, a little bit of a head shake in there, too. Like... Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it vote for uh, okay, whatever. So I went through all of this, uh, you know, uh, discussion with myself to come to the uh, conclusion of, eh, I mean, you could do it. You didn't use a character you didn't create or you didn't own. You didn't, uh, you know, oh, I'm on the Flash for four uh, issues. I'm gonna have him stump for Trump. You know. Uh, it's your character, it's, it's your platform, it's not illegal, it's just frowned upon. So anyway, thanks for watching, subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed, hit the bell for notifications, thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe, the Patreon, and the Indiegogo, you find original content and an original lawsuit, links are in the description, and I will have, uh, oh, I was going to do one of those Lazy Sunday, but I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll skip that Lazy Sunday. Lazy Sunday is a new series I've only done one of where I just basically like just go to someone's Instagram and just look at their art. <laughs> I had a great artist picked out, but uh, I, I'm also trying I still got some new comics and I'm trying to I hate when I'm reviewing a new comic from two Wednesdays ago. It always just feels like just super freaking lame. Uh, so yeah, so I'll I'll do that one next Sunday. And then I'll be doing uh, uh, one of the new comics from last Wednesday later today. Thanks. Bye.